What's going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game using Unreal Engine 4. So in today's video we are going to be continuing working on the stamina, since in the previous video we added the stamina bar and the stamina variable and we made it work with the sprinting, but in today's video we are going to be making it work with the dodging and the attacking, so yeah we are going to take away stamina each time we dodge or attack and we cannot dodge or attack unless we have enough stamina so yeah it's gonna be like a little bit easy to follow but before we get started make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to my channel and yeah let us get started by going to the BP base and starting to work on the stamina so here we have the BP base now this is what we worked on in the previous video in the event tick we branch a resprinting then we either regenerate stamina or we take away stamina and the sprinting part needs to be inside of the event tick because sprinting is something that you are like you hold a button to sprint you don't just press the sprint button and you know it takes away stamina once no it just takes away stamina each second or something or i don't know each millisecond or something and yeah, it just has to be in the event tick, there's no way to avoid that. So for now, you just select them all, the stuff from the previous video, and we are gonna right click and collapse them to a node. I'm gonna call it stamina. Yeah, I'm gonna call it stamina regeneration and subtraction yeah just that and now we have it inside of the node and you know it just doesn't bother us here under the lock on rotation it just it's just there no problem about it now we are going to work on adding it for the dodging since it's going to be easier than the attacks i think you know i imagine i'm i haven't tried this before by the way so yeah if you go here to dodging and inside of the dodge uh node we have here a lot of things to read so if we, ch we check that we are dead and we are ready then we branch is dodging true or false if it's false then we set dodging to be true and or you know if we are moving you know and we set the ground friction we set the max walk speed then we set the max walk speed and ground fiction back to normal so the part that we are going to add is after we set dodging to be true we are just going to simply take away some stamina and it will just regenerate naturally so if you go back to the event graph here and inside of here you have this stamina subtraction part inside of the um, branch for the sprinting part so we just subtract stamina Instead of copying this all, all the way, every, like everywhere, I'm just going to collapse it to a macro and we are going to call it subtract stamina. And inside of here, what we want to do is we are going to select this value and connect it here to the input. And we are just going to type in here subtracted value. And if you compile and get back to the event graph or the stamina regeneration part you have here subtracted value 0, 0. 0.0 we had it 0 0.02 i think so we just put it back to normal or you know you can just promote this to a variable each each time but i don't want that because you know we we already have an, enough variables so yeah we we you know it will just happen gradually as we turn this into a real rpg so for now it just is like this now we are going to go to the dodging part and over here I'm just going to copy this macro and over now we should have the subtracted stamina part and of course collect, connect this one here. Oh, we can't do that yet. Okay, so over here after we set the stamina points we should have an output. So just connect it to the output there and now if you go back to dodging it should be able to continue. So the subtracted value for the dodging is going to be 0 0.3. No, not 0 0.3. It's going to be just 3 out of 10. So it just takes it it's up like a big part of the stamina. So if you dodge now it should take away stamina each time you dodge. But the problem is, you can still dodge without stamina. So what we are going to do is, we are also going to 
make another macro for, you know, do we have enough stamina to do this thing? So, yeah, we are going to do that now. Uh, where should we do it? Okay, let's go to the event graph again, or, you know, this part. And uh, let's see. So over here, we sprint. We check if we are sprinting, and if it's less than or equal to zero, we cannot do that. So, yeah, this is the part we want to do, I think. I'm going to collapse it to a function, I think. No, not a function. Yeah, let's just make it another macro. Or no, I'm not sure. Okay, let's go inside of here again. And if you go here, yeah, it should be there. So the float here is going to be minimum stamina. So the minimum stamina to sprint is going to be zero. But the minimum stamina to dodge is going to be 30 i think or 25 so over here the minimum stamina is zero and you know we have this branch connected to the outputs and you know it just continues back to normal so we are just gonna copy or no we're not gonna copy over here the min minimum stamina is zero of course i forgot to um i'm just gonna call it minimum stamina or you know it could be called check stamina or something yeah let's just call it check stamina and now we have to go back to the dodging part and do it before we set dodging to be true so over here after we check if we are moving to be able to dodge we are gonna get the macro here and connect it like this and we have the minimum stamina value. I'm going to make it 25. If it's true, then we set dodging to be true. And we take away stamina for the dodging. But actually, no, not 25. It's going to be 2.5. And over here, we are also going to subtract 2.5. So the minimum stamina to, to dodge is going to be 2.5. Because if you don't have 2.5, you don't have enough stamina to dodge. Now, if you compile and hit play, then try dodging. Hey, why can't we dodge? So there is something wrong. We check dodging. If it's false, then we check if we are moving. And if it's false, then... Or, I mean, if it's true, if we are moving... No, wait, was this connected to true? If the value is not equal to zero, then we dodge. Okay, so now I noticed the problem. The problem is that I was connecting it to the true part. Uh, what I need is actually the false part. So if you go here to your value here, check stamina, you have true and false, and it's connected to the outputs. The problem is that they are not named properly so there was like a mix up so i'm just gonna call them true and false and if you go back to the dodging part i'm just gonna place it where i planned to earlier so after we check if we are dead and ready and if we are not dodging over here is gonna be where we place it so before we check if we are not moving or you know after no problem yeah if we check that we are not moving then we check if we have the minimum stamina. If it's the false, then we try dodging. Or, I don't know. Yeah. You know, the problem is that the thing here is less than or equal to. So that's why the um, thing here is going to be false. The one connected is going to be false. So, for example, yeah, I forgot to try. Like, if we have less than quarter of the stamina, do we dodge? No, we don't. Okay, and if you keep dodging, you can't dodge unless you have the required stamina, which is 2.5. And, yeah, it's perfect now. 
Now we are going to add the same thing, but for light attacks and heavy attacks. So if we quickly, actually, I'm going to close some stuff here. There are so much stuff open here. So I'm just going to close them very quickly. Yeah, like this. If you go to the combat graph, you should see the part for light attack and heavy attack. And I'm going to add it for light attack first. First, we check if we are dead and if that if that is true, I mean, if that is false, then we do the rest of it. Uh, we also check if we draw the weapon. Yeah, we're not going to do it here. Then we turn to the nearest enemy and then we do the play montage part. So we are going to check the stamina here. And, you know, you can take away stamina based on the attack count. So you can make like the first attack, take some stamina, then the next one, take more, and then the third one, take the most. But yeah, I'm not going to work on that now because, you know, this entire system, I plan to rework it and make it better and smoother. That's why I'm just going to place it very quickly. And if it's like when we rework it, we are going to work on the stamina part. So over here for the attack, we are going to subtract the value of, I don't know, what number? Also, I'm going to make it, I don't know, 35. Yeah, that's fine. We subtract 35 and it regenerates naturally and over here after we check if we are dead and after the do ones yeah just after we check if we are dead we are gonna check if we have enough stamina so just connect the false here and the false here and the minimum stamina is gonna be 35 also it has to be like the required stamina to attack because you know it's the same one as the attack number now if we attack it's no longer working for some reason and we are just gonna check why um if you go back to the dodging part we should be able to see what the problem is because you know we had the same issue here so i don't know oh i know the problem okay Instead of 35, we should go with 3.5. I forgot. We're going with the number of 10 instead of 100. Uh, that's the problem here. So just go 3.5 and compile. And when you hit play, I'm going to make it full screen. You can attack and it will take away stamina. And you cannot attack unless you have the stamina of 35, 3.5. And you can still have the attack because we didn't add that. But as you can see... It now works perfectly, but I think 3.5 is a little bit too much, so I'm gonna go with, I don't know, 2? Yeah, just 2. Which is like, e equal to 20. So yeah, there you go, we have 2, is the minimum stamina to attack. And if you go to heavy attacks, we should do the same thing. Um, before the do ones, we check if we have enough stamina. For the heavy attacks, I'm gonna make it 4. So if it's false, if we have, you know, if the minimum stamina is not equal to, or, you know, if the stamina points are not equal to four, then we do the rest. But actually, instead of this macro, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cancel the entire true thing. And I'm also going to cancel the entire output. And this one, I'm going to call it then so that there's no confusion and we just connect it normally. So over here, it should, you know, get rid of the mix up that I have. And yeah, like this, we just check the stamina. If we have four, then we, before the play montage, we are gonna subtract stamina, which is the number that's you know, the same number that's required to do the stamina attack. And if you compile here and hit play, you can see that you can heavy attack and light attack and it's gonna take away stamina, you know, same as Dark Souls. And you cannot attack unless you have enough stamina. And I'm not sure what the problem with my enemy AI is, but they stopped attacking to that today. I don't know. But yeah, now we have stamina and it works perfectly. You cannot dodge unless you have enough stamina. And when you do, 
you can dodge and it will take away stamina and you know the same thing for attacking i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it was helpful uh stay tuned for more videos we are right there where this game is becoming its own game almost a complete prototype done i'm really glad that it's been successful so far and you guys have been liking my project uh, I'm actually gonna start turning it into into my own game and I'm gonna be making a devlog for this game So I'm gonna like talk about the game itself the world the characters the uh, level design the even the things I'm gonna do differently in programming, you know, it's gonna be the same project, but I'm gonna customize it to be my own game. And I hope you guys see my upcoming videos. And yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. Take care and bye. <laughs>